I go by Voodoo Baby. I'm from Miami Dade County. I'm with Industry Most Wanted. He tell me about it, Jesus, please make sure you run in peace. I remember taking shit from the hood, now I gotta feed the streets. I cut off all my clientele, I've been start serving geese. I travel to my front, top of scale, this shit about worth keep. I've been start putting on for the hood, cause they kicked us off the lease. Me and gang start bumping brain, that shit that's about to be. Hey, what's going on, man? It is your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. Industries. Big industry is most one and not the little one. Listen, we got the voodoo baby checking in. What's going on with your family? How you doing? Not much, not much. I'm doing good. How you doing? Listen, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for being here. Most definitely. We definitely got a lot to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I just want to say first and foremost, you know, rest in peace to your brother who tragically lost his life recently. Like, I didn't even have the opportunity to meet him yet. We were supposed to, him and I were supposed to be doing this and... Man, that hurt my heart. So I just wanted to pay homage and, and give him his flowers. And, you know, now I can build that relationship with him through you. I highly appreciate that, most definitely. Absolutely. This, this is the closest it's going to get to him, you know. What Facts, I'm absolutely. Never left his side, you feel me? So. Yeah. Well, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Voodoo Baby. I'm from Miami Dade County, you know. Just moved around through St. Louis, Atlanta. You know, I'm here in Atlanta right now. On vacation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's what it's all about is being able to get to the point in your life where you can move around and do stuff like that. And that's what you're working on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you discussed with us that you do day trading. Yes, you produce. So you, we got a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. But let's take it back to the childhood when mm -hmm. you was a JIT, right? Was that in Miami? Yeah, that was in Miami. That was in 305, yeah, Day County. Yeah. Uh, Man, there was a lot going on in Miami for real, for real. We had to move out. Like, my family, my mom moved out, and then that's when we came over to Missouri. We yeah. Went to St. Louis and stuff in Missouri and stuff. And then that's when we moved back over here. I mean, that's when we moved over here. Then we moved back to St. Louis to take care of our mom and stuff. My brother actually moved us out of the hood. Yeah. Out of Lucas and Hunt Village. You feel me? So, that yeah, he's, he's a real one for that one. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. His legacy will absolutely live on. Oh, yeah. I got to do this for Pac, most definitely. Man, facts. Absolutely. Um, what were you into as a child? Man, I was actually, I really wanted to play the piano. We just didn't have no funds, like, for all that stuff. Yeah. So, it's like, I was skateboarding. I used to skate. Um, man, I, my brother used to make music. Like, he, used to, he was a poet. Back in the time and stuff, we used to all just make music, rap. I, I kind of got a little bit, you know, I got yeah. a little skills because we all started <laughs> together. You know, I'm actually starting to get into making music and stuff and rapping and stuff like that. You should. That's going to carry on his legacy. Most definitely. He's here with us oh, now. Yeah, yeah, He's proud of you. He sees what you're doing, representing him. Is that how you and Jai connected us through skateboarding? Dude, nah, actually, nah. We, That's we, ironic, connect, though. Yeah, I connected to him through Xavier, my my people's right there, okay. yeah, Xavier. And this was when we was in middle school, yeah. So we was in middle school and stuff. He actually came over to our crib. We had a conversation. Like, that's people's. That's, you know. that's just so ironic because when all that happened, which we'll talk about a little bit more, you know, when, when your brother passed, I had seen already that we had mutuals, Jai. And he's here with me sometimes helping me out behind the scenes and stuff because he's dope with the lens on the camera. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, it was meant for us to meet it was destined for us oh, to yeah, meet and we've cool. already been connected you know through whip king you know what i'm saying big yeah. shout out to whip king shout out to whip king. <laughs> how long was your brother doing music he'd been doing music since he was like what nine probably like wow. yeah, he'd been he was a poet my mom always wanted us to do music and stuff and she would like try to write for us but my brother would be like nah we're not doing that. Like, but we would do it but like he would be like nah I can't you know what I'm trying to say and then he started really making music making poetry for mom and stuff and like, that's dope yeah, most definitely super talented it runs in the family yeah it runs in the family my mom actually got signed to a record label deal back in the day what? my dad used to do shows with people that's like in the music industry now he really had a name kind of out there in my yeah yeah he really should have kept it consistent. He should have stayed consistent. Absolutely, because there's a lot of dope talent that comes out of Day County, mm -hmm. you know, for sure. And and it's also, too, I know there's some areas down there where it's not so nice and you want to get up out of that area, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's what your brother did for you. Yeah, Let's definitely. talk about that a little bit. You said your brother did help get you guys up out the area. Oh, yeah, we was in the trench. It was five of us in one bedroom. You know, Tev was with us, too, on me. Yeah. Man, that, yeah, it was really hard. Like, man, it was really hard. There was yeah. a lot going on in there. You know what I'm saying? And. Had to get my mom together. Had to get my mom mental right and stuff like that. Yeah. She done been through a lot of stuff, you know. Like, Simeon was the type of person. Pac was the type of person. Like, he ain't really, he cared about other people more. You know, he would put people first yeah. for him. You know what I'm saying? And then we really started working on that, putting ourselves first and stuff. And we started working on stuff like that. He actually have everything organized 
from like paper. Like he was so organized. Like I got everything like how to promote market. Like you know what I'm saying? His yeah. music and what music he wanted to drop and all that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like all the song that he has is like it makes sense. Like fly away, sorry. Yeah. Like it's like songs that you know what I'm saying. It's like he passed already. You feel what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. It was like already, I really want y'all to hear it, but it got to drop. I really don't want to. He, he was thinking about dropping an album, but I don't have that much songs. I might got like 40, 50 songs probably. Like, so I want to kind of make it live long. Like, you know what I'm saying? Understood. Maybe do like some EPs. EPs yeah, right. you can do literally a three, four piece EP and split it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or just put them out as singles. An EP. I'm actually going to work on this EP. It's called. It's going to be called All Eyes on G. I love I'm that. Yeah, that is so, man. Listen, I can't even imagine what you've had to endure losing him tragically and suddenly because it sounds like you guys were very, very close. very close. You know, how have you been able to bear that and get through that time? Oh, man. Meditation, like, I don't know. Just, it just really don't feel real because, like, I never left his side. So it's like, it's, I, he's me. I'm yeah. him. You know, we always told each other that, like, I'm you and you're me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and shit, everything we do was in common, like music, day trading. Like, we all had stuff in common. We wanted to get into business. You know what I'm saying? We always wanted money. Yeah. We started off with selling candy. We was in the hood. People was, you know, selling weed, but we wanted to do our own little stuff yeah. with kids. You know what I'm saying? So we was selling candy and stuff. So it's like, yeah, when we, man, we made a way, though. You guys have always had that hustler mentality. Oh, yeah. I love definitely. that. That is dope, man. Um, you know, going back to when he first started doing music, was that around the same time that you started making beats? Yeah, when he actually started taking it serious, I was like, I have to be a part of it some way, you know what I'm saying, some way, somehow. So I, I always wanted to play the piano, drums, and stuff like that, so yeah. I just got into producing. Zay actually came over, like, we was, <laughs> he was the first one producing, you know what I'm saying? So And he really inspired me by that, like, with the producing stuff. He was coming over, he was trying to make beats and stuff, yeah. you know? And, yeah, that's when I really started taking it serious and really locking in for real, for real. Now I go to piano lessons, like, on wow, weekends and that's stuff. that's dope. Like, I still been going and stuff. I still been trying to do everything I could for real, for real. Absolutely. And that's what you have to do is you have to continue mm-hmm. on. You know, we cannot stop our life because we lost somebody oh, yeah. because they would not want that. It's either it's going to make you weak or it's going to make you stronger. Man, it, to me, like I've lost my mom, I've lost my sister, friends. And I'll tell you, like for me, it gave me more clarity yeah, on peace. life. Thank you. It's difficult. You know what I'm saying? And And for me, it gave me clarity on life of how really short it is, like, literally you know firsthand here today gone tomorrow yeah. and i think that's what hit me so hard is because i literally conversated with him that same, same day, day and then yeah. you're telling me that he passed that night it's like we have to value our life and protect our peace at the same time and i i was at work at the time like i ran out of that job like fast like i was at work and the crazy thing is that month i told him to share his location with me yeah and he didn't share his location, though. I, I guess he forgot. Yeah. But I didn't know where he was. Oh, my like, gosh. We went driving every hospital. He didn't even make it. He died on scene. Like, oh, gosh. Hospital. So it's like, yeah. You know, I'm still trying to go hard for him, really, for, for real, for real. But he was just talking to me this weekend about, like, his favorite artist and what created this sound. And it's the two artists is Jay Montana and Huncho. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really trying to get in connection with them. Absolutely. Yeah, because then you can live his legacy Legacy. on by working Mm -hmm. with them. Production wise, what type of beats are you creating? Is it more in the hip hop realm or it's more in the hip hop, but I could get into like Tem type beats, you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like some Afro beats. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get into, like them type of beats because I would say hip hop's kind of getting overrated. I wouldn't say like overrated, but it kind of is. It is. I agree with you. I really want to make music for movies and like stuff like that because it hit different when you with your family and like you know at the movie theaters and you your own stuff. You know, so have you tapped in with uh, Song Trust yet? No. So as a producer. Make sure you register with Song Trust. Song Trust. Yeah, I think it's about a hundred dollar registration mm-hmm. fee. But what they do is for you as a producer or artist, they scan basically the the platforms, YouTube, the internet for your music. So say, for example, I'm using one of your instrumentals in one of my YouTube videos and it goes viral, you're entitled to a check. So okay. what you do is every piece of, you know, every instrumental, you know, beat that you create, you can register it with them and they do it by sound recognition. So just another check. You're into getting that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, song trust. Make sure you song register trust, with them. hundred percent. Definitely. So do you remember who rapped on one of your beats first? Was it your brother? 
I don't think it was my brother. I think it was Up Next Mar. He was signed to Akon. Okay. Yeah, that was the first time. Because I really don't send beats to people. I'm kind of selfish. And that's that's how I get it from my brother. Like, he was selfish with his music. Like, he didn't even want to send people his music and stuff. Like, people used to beg us like, for his music. He didn't even send it because he was so, you know, selfish with his music. And we, I'm so glad that we got one song out there before. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we was... Man, so much people. It's been like four years. Like, we've been was supposed to drop. Like, we've yeah. been was supposed to drop. But we just had to get everything together, make money, you know what I'm trying to say? And that's when trading and all that stuff came along, for real, for real. Absolutely, because you want to make sure before you put it out into the world, you have all your business together. Yeah. Because there's so many different ways as a music artist or a producer that you can make money. Um, let's talk, let's switch gears a little bit. You're into day trading, and that really piques my interest because that's something that I'm just now getting into doing. What made you decide that was the route you wanted to go? Man, we was young. Like, we was really young, and we were just looking up how to make money. Like, yeah, it don't matter what way it was. We were just looking up how to make money. After, like, a couple years, I found out about trading. That's when I started pocket options. I started, me and Simeon started pocket options. And I just was getting into pocket options, just looking at it. But it was more of a gamble because you can't have no risk a uh, risk to reward ratio. I mean, you can have a risk to reward. You really can't because yeah. it's, you're risking whatever you put in. Understood. But like if I put in some money, like with day trading, I'll be able to put in a hundred risk, 20% and like whatever. And then make like three times the 20%. You know what I'm trying to say? Of take profit, like right. stop loss. So it's really like with trading is basically discipline. Just like your life, just using your time wisely is based off your life. Basically. It's like however it's going in life, it will reflect off of your day trading. You that know what I'm trying dope. to say? That's why I can't trade right now. Like, I've been trading, but I haven't been in the right headspace. Like, Absolutely. You're probably carrying some anxiety mm -hmm. around right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. That's the human element. element yeah. That's what we do, you know, but you'll eventually get through that. Mm -hmm. When you are in your day trading mode, do you wake up early and get to it every day? Yeah. Uh, I just quit my job. Now I'm really, like, going to go all in, like, 100%. I didn't seen a lot of money off of it. Like, it's possible. I know that I could do it. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? So it's like all I have to do is stay consistent, wake up every day. You know, I'm working on a funded account right now. Yeah. So basically using somebody else's funds to make more money, having more capital, because the more money you have, the more money you will make. 100%. Yeah. So let me ask you this, if you don't mind, pick your brain just a little bit. And this is for people who may be interested, such as myself. Mm -hmm. If someone's just starting out, what would you say is a good amount of money to be able to start out with getting into day trading? At whatever, a minimum. Whatever you're willing to risk. So it's okay. like, there's people like my first mentor, shout out to Kelly OG. <laughs> she um she started off, she turned $26 into $26,000. Like she started, wow. yeah, like you can turn nothing into something. You can literally turn crumbs like into something. That's you know what I'm impressive. trying to say? So it's like, if I ever go down to my last, like I will literally find a way, sell something, <laughs> find a way and literally throw it in my account and just build off that. Absolutely. Like, what do I got to take to the to pawn take, shop? You know, yeah, like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, but that's good. You got that hustle mentality because you're always going to be able to eat. Mm -hmm. Always going to be able to eat. What about like getting into commodities? Is that an interest for you? Commodities? Actually, I, yeah, I got into, I actually did Forex. I did Futures. I did all of the markets, like pocket options. I did everything that you, I could do. I really, I'm getting into futures. Day trading is really like, with Robinhood, with me, it's like a building more of a long term. Like futures, I could trade all day, every day. Because, like with Robinhood, you need twenty five thousand dollars to trade every day. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So, with futures, you could just trade unlimitedly every day. Like you could have a thousand in your account, just trade every day. That's like, the name you know of the app. Is called Futures. Well, futures is the is the like the branch of like. So it's it's options, futures, and forex. Got you. So it's like that's the basically like a strategy. You got to pick a strategy. So do you want to do forex? Do you want to do future? Do you want to do options? You know what I'm saying? But I'm also, I'm doing options and futures both right got now. Got you. Understood. Because so, yeah, we I had even looked into doing you know like commodities mm -hmm. because there's always a demand. Like you buy you know. Sounds off the wall, but coffee beans, rice, rice yeah. cattle, oh, yeah. those are things that people always need. Mm -hmm. And you can buy accounts and then sell, you know, hold yeah. on to them, sell them, similar to day trading, yeah. and make a big profit, profit off of them. Yeah. I actually got into crypto, too, not so long ago. I wanted crypto to really age, you know what I'm trying to say? Yes, like, understood. It was like in his teens, basically. I yeah. wanted it to age. I made like 10000 in two weeks off crypto, yeah, like with just $1,000. Like, that yeah. is dope, bro. I know, yeah. It's... You really learned how to do this. It's not luck. It's you learned. Oh, yeah, yeah, you took yeah, the no, time no, 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 and yeah. learned how to People do it. People say it's a gamble. It's not a gamble. Like afterwards, when you get a consistent strategy and 
get everything in order, yeah, it's not a gamble. Like, you will see profits every day. You just got to risk less than you're making. You there you go. You can have a 30% prop uh, strategy and become rich off a of 30%, losing 70%, but winning 30%. Because mm. it's the take profit. You know what I'm trying to say? The risk-to-reward ratio. How much you're willing to lose and how much you're willing to gain. And when are you going to get out? That's the good question. You got to right. know when you're going to get out before you even enter your trade. Absolutely. You know it's a lot to learn. Yeah. But so. once you get it down, so this is something I asked you earlier off camera, but I'm going to ask you on camera, getting into, you know, helping people. I know you said you mentor people, mm -hmm. but, you know, possibly coming up with like a course that yeah. you could sell to really teach people the fundamentals of it. Is that something that you're willing to do in the future? That's something, yeah, that I'm actually working towards. I actually got a team that I'm working on. Shout out Josiah on me. I got a team that I'm working on, and we're really going to get this going. I got to create a, a PowerPoint step-by-step -step Yes. Point. Everything in order, you get what I'm trying to say? Then I'm also working on credit. Like, I know how to repair credit. Like, I got a mentor. And credit stuff is king. Credit. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Business funding and knowing how to, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, knowing how to branch off and create money off of somebody else's capital. Bro, you are, you got it up uh, here. Big time. I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, there's, you know, I don't know your age and you don't have to share it, but I know that you're, you're still Not, young. 19? 19. Y'all hear that? He is 19, and he's smarter than most people who are, like, four or five times his age. Yeah. Slick. Mm. Man, that is so impressive. I love the fact that you're really out here because you understand being in the streets can only oh, yeah. get you so far. Yeah, that can't get you far. That's not, that's not the way. That's not at all. You need to live your legacy for a long, 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 long time yeah. for your brother. Do you have kids yet? No. No, I don't have kids. you said I'm gonna wait on yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on that. <laughs> but eventually, you'll want to have yeah, kids. Definitely becomes bigger than you. Yeah. And now you have that generational wealth that you've built for them, and you can instill that and have something to pass on to them as your legacy. That is dope, man. How that's often dope. are you producing right now? Oh, I just started really cooking up again for real, for real. Cause yeah. that same day we bought, he bought, a, I bought a laptop. Spent like a thousand on this laptop because he motivated me for real, for real, like yeah. when he made that song. So I bought. That laptop that same day he passed, so I was like, I got to go into work to make this money back, you know? Yeah. And then that's when I went to work, got that call, you know, then I left work immediately, you know? <laughs> Something told me to stay, though. I should have, like, stayed. Like, I, I know we wouldn't have went. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say? If I was there, I would have talked him out of it or something, like... We wouldn't have went over there. But you know what, though? I'm a believer. I, I know you said your brother is oh, spiritual. Yeah. You probably are as well. Oh, yeah. We cannot question anything. Anything, yeah. Everything's meant for a reason. Everything yeah. happens as it's supposed, supposed to. to. And I know sometimes it, it's like, but God, why? Why, yeah. He fulfilled his purpose, and now he's with, you know, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. He's in a much better, better place. place yeah. Absolutely. You can't even be selfish, you know. 100%. What do you really feel like was your brother's purpose on earth? You know him better than anybody. Man, he was, nah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, his purpose on earth, he just wanted, he he literally was talking about this the other day, too. He wanted people to feel happy for his music. Like, he wanted to make people smile, like, yeah. from his music, you know what I'm saying? Like, from his voice. Because he also sold insurance. One thing he told me, like, insurance, like, selling, becoming a salesman helped him in, like, using his voice more. Because uh, you're talking every day. So people skills. Using more of his throat chakra, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so he was using his voice a lot, yeah. and that was a big thing, you know what I'm trying to say? And he learned his emotions. Every song he made, he got better. Every song, everybody know that. Every song he made, he got better, like literally every song. And he switches it up. He said, <laughs> bro, this, the crazy thing this weekend, he said, I think I got, like, it's like a disorder to where it's like different personalities, but he said only through music. Yeah. But like, if you hear his voice, like, it totally switches it up, like, switches up like crazy, you know what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. And that's what I tell a lot of these young artists starting out. I'm like, every four bars, you need to be switching up your flow. You don't want to sound, sound the same all the way because our voice is an instrument. Oh, yeah, most Think about how many different sounds we can project from, from our, our voice. voice yeah. Absolutely. Um, where was he laid to rest at? He was laid to rest in St. Louis, but he wanted to get cremated because he was in the Buddhism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he wanted to get cremated. Yeah. He was talking about death that whole month. He said, I don't want to be worn on a shirt. I don't, you know, get, I want to get cremated. Yeah. I wanna, you know, I'm going to turn him to a diamond and stuff like that. That's what I'm really working on. That type of stuff is important. A lot of people don't understand. And, and thank you for being transparent oh. and talking about this because it's something that needs to be said. Y'all yeah, yeah. need to have life insurance, number one. Definitely. You don't want people having to do GoFundMes and stuff. Not to say that's a bad I thing, but yeah. get life insurance. Your brother sold insurance. Mm -hmm. And have a living will. You know, Or if it's not a living will, at least verbally share with somebody what your final wishes are. 
I also want to be cremated. My mother was cremated. My sister was like, that's our, we don't want to lay in the ground. We want to be crema cremated, you know? So that's beautiful that, you know, Definitely. so where are his ashes at currently with your mom? Uh, they actually, what day is it today? Uh, today's the 8th, May Thursday. 8th. Thursday? Yes. Thursday, yeah. No, wait, getting, today's Wednesday. Wednesday, tomorrow, he's getting <laughs> cremated tomorrow. Okay. So the cremation will be tomorrow. I wouldn't be able to make it, though. Yeah. But, like, it'll be tomorrow. You, you, listen, you'll be able to have him. And, like, what we did with my sister is we actually split her ashes up. I have a portion, portion. and my parents, but my parents already spread her ashes, mm -hmm. you know, because she was into nature and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I honestly, it's been 12 years for me, and I have not been able to bring myself to be able to do that. Do that yeah. I just... I feel like I have a piece of her with me mm -hmm. forever. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. Absolutely. That is that's that's tough. It's difficult. Oh, yeah. But it seems like you're being you're pushing through. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to push through most definitely. Yeah, keeping yourself like busy. Like I said, it can make you weak or it can make you strong. But during that period of time, like you got, I got to do something now. Like I can't just wait and sit there. You know what I'm trying to say? Because it's like I'm gonna get comfortable and do that for the rest of my life. You know what I'm trying to say? Because I know people that suffered and like don't even do nothing with their time because yeah. of. The trauma that they've been through. Absolutely. You know and then that's where depression and anxiety uh, yeah. sets in with that person. And that becomes a whole thing. Mm -hmm. where mental health is very real. Very real, yeah. Do you think that working on music is like a form of therapy for you? Yeah, his song, like, because it's a song. It's called Acknowledge Me. So 10 times harder. It makes me, it's like the theme. Like, it, it makes me want to go harder. Like, I got to go 10 times harder. Like, I can't, you know what I'm trying to say? And he made it the same day. Like, yeah, I got to go 10 times harder. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. Definitely. definitely. I know that you're kind of getting back in the swing of things. You know, it's mm -hmm. still a lot and you're going to still have to process it. You have to grieve. You have to. That's important. But are you at some point in time willing to work with some other artists as well on the production side? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm trying to most definitely. Uh, I want to work with Huncho, Jay Montana, most definitely. I already worked with Jay Montana. Jay Montana, he actually got a song with Jay Montana. Actually. Okay, dope. So, yeah, that, I made that beat. I produced that beat. Look at you. And getting them credits. Most definitely. Uh, <laughs> So I want to work with, I'll say, dang, I, I really want local art. I don't, you know what I'm trying to say? I want local artists, you know what I'm trying to say? But I'm trying to pop too, but local artists really. But I don't really, I need to do more research. I don't listen to music. Like, when my brother <laughs> went to the studio, notes. I don't have music on my phone. Like, I straight listen. I went a whole month just straight notes. Like, no, no music. Understood. But I really just listen to Hancho, J. Montana, and Pac. Definitely. Yeah. And what you said is right, starting locally and then working your way up because it's oh, going to yeah, get yeah. your name out there. Mm -hmm. It's going to get your brand out there. What does your tag on your produce, your production sound like? It's actually going to be Voodoo Baby. Like, my brother has it because that was really my brother's second name, for yeah. real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So Voodoo Baby. But I was a part of that. I told him, like, that's going to be mine too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. So, he uh he has it in one of the songs. I have to go back to the engineer and like get that. That's what I was just talking about yesterday. Like I get that that tag that he said before and then mix it and stuff like that. And use that as use your use that as my tag. You know what I'm that's saying? That's dope, man. That's definitely. That's dope because now his voice will be heard on mm -hmm. every beat that you make out there. But you know I'm good friends with Drama Boy. You know he's a platinum oh, yeah. producer and um one of the things that we talked about we've had several interviews is. I asked him specifically, I'm like, as a platinum producer, where did you start? And he said, locally. He said, I work with just some people I knew, giving them beats and stuff like that. Once they start getting out there and they start catching on, that's when the bigger names are going to come to play. So are, do you believe in manifestation? Most definitely. Manifestation, yeah, most yeah. definitely. So it's like, because your words are very powerful. Your yeah. tongue is very powerful. So it's like affirmations and like yes. talking to yourself, you know what I'm saying, out loud. The more, it's about faith. So yeah. the more you talk and say the same thing, the more you will believe it. You get what I'm saying? That is facts. So listen, I talk to myself all the all time. time. Yeah, they say it's crazy <laughs> to talk to yourself, but it's not. It's not. Like, I have full-blown conversations with myself. You know, like, I don't try to get in my own head because oftentimes we can sabotage the situation because we're in our own head but it's just my way of getting stuff off my chest and venting and i i don't write music but i just you know, journal, journal and stuff like that's that that's what i do too i journal yeah that's great for you right now because you were able to pour all those emotions well, out yeah. definitely i took a break on that i'm not gonna lie for right now like after my brother i get stuff. it but i'm gonna really start going back in because it's like putting stuff on a piece of paper like taking stuff out your head and putting stuff on a piece of paper is like beautiful like it's like because it's like I'll say, what I say is, like, that's the only privacy you have. A hundred percent. Like, yeah, journaling, like, a notebook is really the only privacy you will get, like, because it's 2024, you know. Listen, and it's yeah. actually, it's medically proven 
that it helps because I had shared with my doctor, I was like, man, I'm experiencing some anxiety, but I don't want to take meds for it. What can I do? And he told me, start journaling. He said, it's medically proven that if you write, it pours your emotions out into a safe space. Like you said, that's meant for you only. Yeah, I'll give you another tip too. Ground yourself in nature. Oh, I do. Oh, I get out there with my bare feet bare and walk feet, around. If anybody knows anything about Tampa Mystic, when I'm not here, I'm hiking. I'm in the mountains. Florida I'm grounding. Thing. Like, for my birthday, which was just a couple of weeks ago, well, it was on the 29th of April. I'm an April baby. I went to North Georgia. I was in the mountains. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I did, Florida. man. That's where we get our energy from. Florida thing. <laughs> it is definitely a Florida thing. You know what I'm saying? I tell people I was a I was a cat in my previous life, and you know people think I'm crazy, but I believe in reincarnation as well. Do you believe in that? Uh, to a certain extent, I feel like if you don't accomplish your mission, that's when you'll be reincarnated. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. And I feel like there's more stuff out here, more life out here. Agreed. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, not just Earth. Like, it's more life out here. Agreed. It's selfish for us to think that we're the, the only, only existing people. life. Yeah, it can't. There's it probably can't people be. who are 20 times more advanced than we are. Yeah. That's insane. So you said there's a couple artists that you would desire to produce for. To but produce for. Uh, it's, I really want to work with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to work with I want everybody to have a piece of my sound. Like, because... I'm working on a sound right now. Like, I want people to, you know, hear that sound, you know, be a part of me. If they can't rap on it, they can't rap on it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. my sound is my sound. Like, I'm not doing this for the money. Like, I actually, this is a way for me to express myself. Yes. Because I don't rap. So, it's like, I don't use words, so I use vibration with the keys. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? And, like, I just, that's really a, a way to express myself. That's why I went to piano lessons because I was getting frustrated. When I click in the notes and stuff, like, with the producing <laughs> stuff, I be getting frustrated because, like, <laughs> it's not really defining how I feel. You Understood. Know what I'm saying? So, I feel like piano lessons will like help me with that a lot. Absolutely. And by you being able to create these beats and, you know, instrumentals, like it is absolutely a way for you to pour out a hundred percent of who you are into your music yeah. without having verbal, verbal lyrics. Words, yeah. That is dope, man. That is really, really dope. What else are you working on? I know again, you know, you're still getting through the, the time with your brother, but is there other <laughs> business ventures outside of the day trading and making beats that you're pursuing? Um, the credit, like I want to yeah. help people repair credit, you know, build Which their so credit, important. Getting business funding. Um, I really want to focus on those three and then work on other things. I really like, I stopped a lot of stuff. I, I was getting distracted, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like I was it happens. very distracted, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I started cutting things off and I was like, yeah, what do I really want? Yeah. My brother actually made a vision board like two weeks before he passed. So he has everything okay. laid out for me, you know what I'm saying? Like everything is already laid out, so it's like. We had the same dream, so his vision board was my vision board. You get what I'm saying? So, Gosh, that just gave me chills thinking about that. Like, yeah. he literally, it's like we said, it's almost like he had an intuition, and he was setting that up saying, here, here's, here you go. Here's the yeah. blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Live my legacy for me. That is dope. And do I'm, you, I'm, do you, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, my bad. Uh, I was going to say, and I'm so glad, like, because I started making money and stuff and, like, Whatever you want, like recently, like this month, like whatever you wanted, like here you go, like you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, it was like that type of energy. Like I'm glad I gave, you know, I did something. Like I actually tried to give him stuff, and like you know what I'm trying Absolutely. to say. Absolutely, you gave him his flowers while he was oh, here. Oh yeah, while he was here, most definitely. That's so important. Let me ask you this: you know, losing him is super super difficult. But I'm the type of person, and you're probably going to agree with me on this, I really try to pull the positive out in everything. Oh, yeah. Because in life, what we focus on is what develops, right? I'm very animated, as you can see. Oh, yeah. I'm all over the place. <laughs> but I'm like, what we focus on is what develops. So we have to find the positive in every situation. Obviously, you know, losing your brother the way you did was not positive. But his legacy, what positive did you get from the legacy he left for you? His, his music, because it's like, I feel like, he still can get heard. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, his voice is still out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I have to do is really push it, put the money behind it, meet new people, get more connections. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just do it for Pac, for real, for real. Yeah. How many songs? You said about 40? 40, yeah, about 40. But I got songs that he was working on, like, some crazy stuff, and I'm just going to rap it. Yeah. Because like, it's the closest. Like, everybody says I sound like him, so it's like... It's the closest it's going to get. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just lay it down. He already got, got it written for me. I'm just going to lay it down. And then the crazy thing is, like, we didn't listen to music. We <laughs> all put his beats on. Like, while we're riding and going places, cause we used to go shopping every weekend at the mall. So, like, yeah. when I'm riding and going places, he would just, I'll tell him to, like, sing, rap, your, like rap your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't, I don't want to listen to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> right, because you don't want to slick 
get influence from someone else, not even intentionally. Yeah. You know, when you listen to like, if you listen to a particular artist all the time, their sound eventually is going to rub off on you, you know, and you want that sound to be from your brother. My brother, yeah, most definitely. That is dope, man. How's your mom doing? She's going, she's hanging in there for yeah. real, for real, you know, like everybody's holding it different. You know, I can't really explain how somebody else feels. Understood. You know? I still got to talk to my mom a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I got to yeah. go back out there, you know, in St. Louis and talk to my mom. Check on her. We actually in St. Charles now, you know what I'm trying to say, but we was in St. Louis. Yeah, but. absolutely. Everybody handles it different. Everybody grieves differently. Grieves differently. And we have to allow them to handle it in their way. But like you said, still checking up on her oh, yeah. and everything like that. Do you have other siblings? Yeah, I got a sister. I got three other brothers. Okay. I got two that's not blood, but like we lived in the same house. Understood. Household, that's know, still so your I'm family. Still my family. Definitely. I blood still, you know, I'm... Still my family, yeah. Where do they reside at? St. Louis. They're in St. Louis? Yeah, they're in St. Louis. Yeah. It's rough out there, right? Yeah, it's rough. It's, it's crazy out there. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's, man, it's crazy out there. Absolutely. So if there's anybody interested in working with you on any aspect, they might need a little bit of credit repair once you get that up oh, and yeah. running. They want to maybe be have a mentorship on the day trading, or they might want to get some production from you. Mm -hmm. What's the best way for them to reach out to you? My Instagram, but like, I'm really, I got to work on, like, a business account. I got to work on, like, you know, I'm trying to say something else because I want to have, because if you, if I'm doing multiple things, like, I want to have a something where I target this side of a crowd and I, I target this one and I target, you know what I'm trying That's to say? That's smart. Most definitely, yeah. So I'm a, I'm really going to tap into that a little later, but you guys can follow me at vb.hollo, vb.hallo. Do you or have you uh, created, like, an enterprise, like that's the parent company. Uh, no, I didn't even do all that yet. I, I got to work. I got to work on that. Yeah, I get that. Because like my parent company is Mystics Entertainment oh, LLC. Yeah. And that's where I develop my business credit and stuff like that. But underneath oh, of that, yeah. I got the radio station. Yeah, I got this. Get you a website too. Mm -hmm. Most Put that together. That's your landing spot. That's what. That's a. That's that's good that you said that because I'm working on. Like, I really want to do skin. Like, I sell herbs and stuff. I want to like work on like skin because I suffered with like eczema and stuff. Yeah. My skin got way better, but like, I want to create products and like you know what I'm trying to say and give it out to the world so everybody else can heal their skin. You know, bro. How like who who can we give credit to besides you and your brother? That really just instills so much wisdom. Is it your mother? My mother and my pops, yeah. Shout out to your mom and your, your dad, your parents, man. Like, I could tell that you got so much wisdom. And you're like a gift oh, yeah. to the world because you're literally out here helping people. Most definitely. I try. No, no, no. You do it. <laughs> yeah, Take that yeah, out I your vocabulary. It, yeah. He does it, y'all. You're doing it. So let's let's dive in a little bit on the herb side. I think that's phenomenal. That's something that my, my, my pops does. Like, he's the one that's into the stones. Shamelessly, I don't have any on today, but he makes me earrings and necklaces and stuff. He'll buy certain stones based upon maybe an ailment that I have going on mm -hmm. or whatever. And he makes his own herbal teas and stuff oh, like yeah. that. You did it because you said you have eczema, which can become very serious. <coughs> Let's talk about that a little bit. You got water. Uh, I don't have a brand new one. It's in my car. I apologize. Okay, no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I be like that, too. You see, I got two bottles over here <laughs> popping because <laughs> my allergies be yeah. on a million. <laughs> Definitely. I super apologize. No, um, I'll give you one before you leave, though. Oh, yeah, I'm but the herbs is that. So that's a business venture that you want to start as well. Oh, yeah. The herbs. I'm, I want to get my license, like my herbal license and stuff. Yeah. And like really put people on game, like with the herbs and stuff, because it's. Mother Nature is really like, you know what I'm saying? That's the power, That's the most powerful thing because you got to work on your, your body, your mind, your soul, you know? So it's like herbs will really get you there like with meditation. and you Natural know, clear, healing. Natural healing, have a clear mindset. Absolutely. I take a lot of herbs because I have an autoimmune disorder that causes inflammation in my body. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, called Sjogren's syndrome. It's very similar to lupus. And I have to see a rheumatologist every six months to get blood work and stuff done. So I've been trying, not trying, I am healing myself mm -hmm. naturally through herbs and stuff like that because them drugs that they give us that's oh, yeah. what's killing that's a lot of people facts man listen thank you so much for sharing your story oh, yeah. and your journey is there anything else that you have going on or you want to make sure that the people are aware of um stay out the way the streets is not the answer most definitely like that's that's a big one for real yeah, yeah. Like this i learned from this one like this one yeah this one hurt me like i learned from this one most definitely like gosh for real, yeah. It hurt me, too, and yeah. I didn't even get a chance, chance to, meet to meet him. Yeah. Like, you know, I just, it, I honestly, like, I teared up when you and I conversated because yeah. I'm just like, he was such, he was still a baby. Yeah. He had his whole life ahead of him. So long live Pac G, long right? Live Pac. And the crazy thing is he made a song, like, and he was talking about, like, 
making it to 21. Like, he made it to 21, though. Like, you know, like, he manifested that. He made that song, like, 20, 20 years old, and then 21, he lived 21 for a month. I'm glad he at least got to see 21, you know? Yeah, 100%, because today... 2024, growing old is a flex. Yeah, I know. Because a lot of people are not living past 30, 40, or 50 years old. It's a flex to be able to say, you know what, I just turned 50. And I feel like, man, that's that's something I accomplished because my sister passed at 41. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, when I turn 60, when I turn 70, my grandmother's about to be 100 years old. On June 8th, she's going to be 100 years old, and she's still going. So it's like we got to uplift each other, other, hold each other accountable. You and I are now locked in. Oh, yeah, I sure. definitely want to stay in touch with you. And if there's anything that I can do along the journey, just let me know. It would be my pleasure. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. Absolutely. It's been I a pleasure. I just want to get his story out there. That's really it. Like, it's not even about me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, bigger than you. It's bigger than me, most definitely. Like, Tell him his Instagram as well because you are still actively oh, yeah. posting and stuff on his Instagram. It's 0k.pac.g. Oh, well, 0k.pac. What did the 0k stand for? OK, Pac. Okay, okay, just Pac. okay, Pac. Okay, Pac. Got it. So I wasn't sure if it was for you know okay, yeah. Oklahoma's, but yeah. I was like, he ain't from Oklahoma, so I knew there was a meaning behind it. Tell him your Instagram, your social media again. VB dot H A L L O Voodoo Baby dot Hollow. Definitely yeah, follow me. I know you have a lot of people that love you, support you. You got oh, yeah. some with you today, man. Oh, yeah. Who do you want to give thanks to? To everybody that's around me, for real, for real. The love, like the support, you know. Yeah. I really appreciate that from everybody. Definitely. Definitely. Even from you, even though I just met you. like I Listen, we locked in now. I'm the type of person that I'm really big on building relationships oh, with yeah. people. Because relationships, what I've learned in my journey, relationships will put you in places that money cannot. Oh, yeah. Hands down. There's people out here, they could come with a lot of money, but they got an a-hole mentality. I don't want to deal with someone like that. That's why when you when you're... When you're like, I wouldn't say poor, but when you don't have nothing, it's the time to get your, be, become happy. Because when you do get money, you're going to be busy. You're not going to be focused on being happy. and You're going to be really depressed. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's about being happy and then moving forward from after being happy, you know. Take those dire situations and turn them into, like, make yourself like a savage with this. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm working on. That's where most wealthy people, successful people come from dire situations. They figure out how to get themselves up out of it, and that's absolutely what you've done, man. And one thing I feel like it's like I'm stronger after this one. Like, this one, Yeah. I got to lead. I got to become a leader. You know, like, more of a leader, I got to actually, like, put stuff on the table i want to actually help people in the world like i want to help people around me i love it i love it and again going back to being spiritual we don't get our blessings from no man we get them from god so he sees that he's going to continue to bless you and that's why you're doing so well because you're really out here helping people oh yeah I love it, man. I love what you stand for. You know, shout out to your brother. You know, rest in peace to him for sure. Rest in peace to Pac. Definitely. I got one last question for you, though, Mr. Oh, yeah. Mr. Voodoo Baby. <laughs> We're live. Industries. Industries most wanted. Most. Big industries most wanted, wanted, not the little one. Not the little one. Not the little one. <laughs> Tell everybody what makes you the industries most wanted. Man, uh, my story. Yeah. It's like our story for real, for real, like. Man, it's it's bigger than just music. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's bigger than just music. It's about, like, it's about making other people feel like, you know what I'm trying to say? Making other people happy, making other people feel good. Because there's people out here that's going through it. There's yes. always somebody has it worse than you. You know what I'm trying to say? That's why I got to keep going harder. Like, there's always somebody out there that has it worse than you and it's still pushing, you know? People ain't got no limbs. They, yeah. They're literally just a body, body and they're still I'm out still here getting out here to here it. On me. Facts, man. Listen, thank you so much for being here. Oh, yeah, Give me some love it. real quick. Boom. <laughs> we up out of here, y'all. Take it easy. I remember taking shit from the hood, now I got a few streets. I cut off all my clientele, I built out certain geeks. I traveled to my front, top of scale, this shit about worth keep.